Greetings, everyone, and welcome back to the Pax Britannica mod for Hearts of Iron 4. I'm your host, Mr. Mocha Lover, but looks like the Italian Social Revolutionary Front is actually doing a little better than where we left the Conservatives, but we don't like Conservatives either, but, you know, but the Nicaragua Canal is completed. After years of diligent work, the Nicaragua Canal has finally been completed. Through thick and thin, British support for the product has at long last paid off. At a lavish ceremony, British nobility and corporate officials celebrated the completion of the canal and the splendor of the Emperor Empire's economic might. <clears throat> the announcement was soon followed by the formation of the Nicaragua Canal Company, a state-managed imperial corporation which will be responsible for policing and maintaining the canal's facilities. The occasion has not been entirely without controversy as the Nicaraguan government voiced displeasure at their minimal role in the N NCC, which will see very few dividends uh, from the canal taxes. Some more radical elements of the government outright denounced the British and have other efforts to take back supposedly rapid Nicaraguan lands. Controversy still surrounds the canal even beyond this, as many British reformists argue that against the use of poorly paid locals and African travel workers, the latter of which received almost no pay at all, save room and provisions. Nevertheless, Britain has acquired yet another powerful economic chip in global geopolitics. Along the side of the Suez, Britain has a tremendously powerful monopoly on a global inter empire trade. Excellent works, chaps. Nice. Look at that. Beautiful, I know. Absolutely stunning and beautiful. Who's leading the, this? Ah, the last leg, huh? An engagement of Princess Mary. Oh, wow. Princess Mary, the only daughter of the late governor, his, of late governor George, uh, Governor General George, announced her engagement to Dutch businessman and veteran Levi Roosevelt. The announcement came as somewhat of a surprise to the public, though the contact between the two had always been an open secret within the royal family. Driven out of seclusion by the Great War, Princess Mary helped launch a series of charity campaigns to burn support veterans. Roosevelt, on leaving the Isles due to being wounded on the Western Front, briefly met the princess at a charity event and the two began correspondence. Roosevelt's status as a war hero in the Netherlands and his family staying across the Dutch aristocracy paved the way for celebrity across the empire. Both continued their efforts for veterans' charities while corresponding, ultimately leading to their engagement. The marriage of the two marks the most official formation of the ties between the Netherlands and Britain, with Dutch and British hardline loyalists lauding the affairs as an example of the Anglo-European imperial identity. The Queen Empress has remained largely quiet on the affairs of his sister, and the rest of the royal family has given the courtship a begrudging approval. Perhaps she could have picked someone a bit more royal, but no, you never know. Orbital decay, huh? Rocket part. Bringing light to the empire. Placeholder. The WP passes laws that prove education in the colonies and reading standards. While the curriculum also subtly begins to erase native languages and culture to synchronize with peoples. So they're burning to leave us peoples. Cool. Oh, well. Activate satellite ability, huh? Decreases failure by 5%. The engines real quick. Components. Yep. Fuel parts. And... Oh. Waiting for the decay. But, in the meantime, we got some comms to go through. I'll keep going with what we got. The Bullet Bureau. The Way of the Future. Mosey and his many friends in WUP have been calling for new scientific progress in Britain, improved living standards, and accelerate the growth of the country. We should take this idea and mold it for the better of the country to bring Britain to the new age of the man. New age of man. Yeah. Yeah. I think this would be pretty handy. Industry. Yes, please. Because not right now we're going to build two civvies and a million at all times. I think it should work out pretty well for us. Moderately reformist. And we need to manage the military, but we need 150 of this, so. We're getting there. Take some time, though. Vulcanate. Anarchy in Oran, Algiers. Ooh. Don't mind if we get involved. So y'all are right there. You guys are up here too. I'm 
no extra spare planes, which you really could use more planes, in all honesty. There you go. Alright. Fuel. There you go. That's how you do it. Oh, we're missing a lot of guns, so we'll take rations too. The Holy Order of Spain. Nice. And what else we really want? Point three. Or do we want air stuff? Navy is actually pretty easy to get stuff for, anyways. Um, not experience gain. Bad weather? Well, I'll do night operations, why not? Bacchanists. Successful launch, yes! Oh, we'll do this one next too. I read this last time, so if you're gonna do please go right ahead. What was this called? The Progress. I think I read this one last time, so. I'll read anyways. The backbone of any nation is a working class. However, Britain is known as a state which would extort its own citizens and maximize the nation's profits to prevent this miscarriage of justice. We'll also present to Parliament an extension and expansion of the Workers' Rights Charter to make sure no ever worker ever again suffers under, under the employer. Oh, and we're down here too. Um. Oh. And we go. <coughs> and I like the borderline unhinged demonstration. Oswald Mosley explained his plans for socialist futurism to the Atlee cabinet. Mosley was a man notable for saying very little in too many words, and this verbosely translated to his presentation. He spoke of a new utopian future under the Union Party, where Britain could enjoy a level of comfort unheard of. The backbone of his concept was the ideal of an enlightened imperialism, under which Britain would help build up and industrialize their uncivilized dominions to produce the industries needed to subsidize the whole miles. <clears throat> the plan is admittedly tempting for some of the right Union members, but Attlee has pushed back claiming that Britain should uplift the colonies as equals and not economic vassals. The way of the future. Nice. You more research points. Well, honestly, we might just go back to install a stellar research module. I should turn that so. It's a little ahead of time, but whatever. Plenty of naval XP, which is nice. Nothing there, which is kind of sad, but whatever. And there you go. Did I get her done? There's a few resources here and there, but that's alright. Should do fine here. But one of the comments says, Holy crap, Victoria is going to become the Empress of Mankind. Oh, you know it. Absolutely. Someone says, Maybe spend some time playing around with the fleet in this playthrough. Solely because you're the British Empire. That sounds like a good opportunity to. You're not wrong. I'm going to lose immediately, huh? That's not very smart. There you go, guys. There you go. I need to ask you what focuses we should do for technology, and we'll show you just a little bit. Water motion and Parliament succeeded. Today, the benches in Westminster were in jubilation as their government's uh, recent act successfully was given the Green Light by the House of Commons. But some compromises were made. The act managed to remain largely unscathed due to from its original purpose. Now, the process of actually enforcing the act begins, but the British government can breathe a sigh, a collective sigh, but the hard part's over. Women in the workplace. It's rare for women to work in a factory or any kind of respectable occupation in this country. 
With Britain losing its global market share and the world economy due to the loss of output compared to other nations, we can allow ourselves to keep what seems to be half of our working shop, our workshop at home. Combat this will show us our implementing social reform and loss of ease of fair sex in the labor market. Of course, where pacifism is gone. Great. We got a lot of political power. Reliability. I always go with Mauser for now, it's fine. Balkan War, oh boy. God, Jacobins. Do they have any focus tree? No, but it'd be interesting to see. Oh, we can't even see volunteers. Oh, we need to be a piece ourselves, so. That's right. That's right. Up to all Jews, I guess. There we go. And then we lost it. Of course we did. Well, how did we lose that? What the heck? Oh, uh, I might go back and change this. Up a little bit because that what the, uh, what the garbage. Um. Well, we'll get that back later. Um, that's stupid. That was incredibly stupid. Here. Like they capitulated and then they gave up. I don't understand that. One eighty five is still very very high. So. But hungry. Two division. Oh, only two, huh? There's a bunch of fighters there first. I don't know what it's like over here, so. Click at the hardliners. Look at the hardliners. Many radicals in the party helped the WP chief Downing Street in turn. We shall accept some demands of these hardline MPs. Many of our moderate compatriots and our colleagues in the British political spectrum will call us out on bending the knee to these hardline revolutionaries, but the WP is a party which rewards those who have earned it, and those hardliners, these hardliners, have definitely earned it. Nice. Keep working on them. A useful idiot. Oswald Mosley is a firebrand of a speaker, rallying massive crowds at the WP rallies. And for the rest, the papers bet the next WP leader. However, Mosley is only good at speaking, and although his patriotic socialism is tolerated, <clears throat> his views are similar to those of the National uh, People's Party. Keep him around, but only while he's still useful to us in Pollitt. 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 Their stuff would probably be useful to get.
So much does it cost now? It's a little better. Expand just a little bit of I guess of it for now. Nice. Grind, grind, grind. That's what you're here for. Engine parts. Oh, we can do this one. Um, fuel parts. Heavyweight Teleforce engine. Components. We need this one definitely. We keep researching as much as we can though. We need to do that one. Fuel wise, because it's failure. Could research it, I suppose. Why not? Keep learning. Learn, 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 learn. A huge, hard, difficult war to win. Oof. Nice. And you, Mosley, is just good business, Clement. Uh, another comment was, Victor looks like a god hand member. Someone says, I would honestly love the game if it allowed an Ireland run with an ICA victory. Someone said, I tried this mod out the other day and had a blast of Britain. Good hunting. Someone says, the Queen of Britain is very creepy, but updates are very good. I love this mod. What's up? Not much is up, except us just trying to be perfect. That's all. I certainly learned how to become an infantry leader. Very good. Why would you attack? Why would you? Why? 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 If we lose the style, we're, we're pulling out. Because we, they are going to die there. I don't know how to use any of this stuff. Let me know in the comments below. How do you use this stuff? Razor Maidens? Would you guys use this when you play this mod? I have no idea how to use it. So, so let me know in the comments below. Artillery. Uh, that's a lot of time. Automax. We don't really have many of those yet. So I'm not going to be focusing on them too much. Armor trains. Panzerhound sound like fun. Flamethrower teams for forts and urban. South attack is five. Or shock jockeys. Marshes, rivers, defense, amphibious stuff. Not much. Panzerhounds attack. Hills, mountains attack. I kind of want to use these guys this time. Suppression bonus. Huh. Let's put those. Beautiful. Ability studies. Still a little ahead of time. Armor support, infantry. Eh, let's go with heart attack. We're doing better on this. Anti air might be pretty useful to have, though. Probably both pull out. It's fine. Yeah, you're gonna need to. Nice. Keep working on all that stuff there. Components. More research. Oh, those are infrastructures. I thought that was military factors. Not bad. Mostly proves his birth, but then again, putting stuff is pretty easy. 
Dear Flock of the Valleys, plans brew and min minds ponder, and specifically, Pullet's mind ponders about discussing the business with Sir Oswald Mosley to direct support to the Hardline of Faction. Together, they'll begin to formulate a plan to oust Atlee from this position and bring themselves upon the level of Prime Ministership. Perhaps it may prove some use to us. Well, maybe. And the Pulitzer Bureau, or Pullet Bureau. Don't worry, comrades, we'll break the capital system with a which oppresses the proletariat of Britannia. We should break your chains and liberate you as long as, only as long as you listen. Obey and hit the command of Comrade Pullet. Red Eminence, huh? Very nice. Get out of there. It's fine. Point-wise, fuel, and now engine. <clears throat> there we go. Well, it goes to Kingdom of Italy. Honestly, I guess we could probably go back, I suppose. If we really needed to. Oh, to inspect. Gonna launch. Component. Oh. Intelligence interceptors, huh? Two quarters. Or do we wait and do this one? Critical. Yeah, let's do that one. Acquire crew. Qu so we're gonna wait for that one first. Hybrid fuel. I wish I could tell you what the benefits would be of each one. Nice. Oh wow, they're flooding through here. That's not bad. Actually quite good. Nice. Pushing back over the river. It's also said you don't know quite what you have until it's gone. For Atlee, it seems that the moment it had arrived in a late night session. Leadership of the Workers' Union Party voted near unanimously to remove him as head of the party and demand his resignation as Prime Minister. And instead, Oswald Mosley has been pushed pushing the role. Backed up by Pollitt's hardliners, Mosley wants just a mere economic advisor now finds himself at the head of the largest empire on earth. Or rather, Pollitt finds himself at the head, now the Red Kingmaker of the British Empire. Unaware of the ship, Britain has little idea of any, the kind of revolution that Pollitt has in mind. Good riddance. Nice. Speed. Do that. Do that. We'll be fine. They're losing to Romania slowly, but can they take out Yugoslavia for realsies? Maybe. There's a lot of divisions I got to take out here. Where's the capital? Greece is doing all right. Oh, we're fighting Greece. Where would we be better used? Ah, that'd be sad. That'd be sad. Hey, economic health improves. Awesome. Increasing poverty too. Beautiful, my friends. There we go. Need more research points. Increases fear. Oh, the capital's in this. Are you kidding me, bro? Let's 
Oh, this is just a giant mess, but whatever. Nice. Well, need more PP, but we need more civvies too. But what else is new? I'm just probably gonna lose this war, but whatever. Collect of munitions, nice. A lot of time, so a lot of time. I'm not gonna arm XP gain. Nice, there you go. It's already looking better and better and better and better and better. Components. Good meal supplements, nice. Experience soldiers losses, I'm not gonna lose organization. Excavation, 1935, research. Red Eminence. It's often said that the worst thing in the world a man can get is exactly what he wants. Evidently, that saying was not written for a man like Harry Pollitt. Sitting <coughs> in the back of the room, quietly watched as part of the ship meeting, carried on as usual. Moses spent much of his speaking time making grandiose calls for his manifesto of reform. As usual, Nellis ignored the firebrand, and a few knowingly looked to Pollitt. Whether Moses thought the throne of the WP was his or not was irrelevant, Paul was a real power behind the party now. As the voice of the leadership began to die down, he took a moment to rise from his seat and clear his throat. The world itself seemed to be fall aside, and he saved a sense of authority. There would be no more groveling with that, no more compromise. The king, his, this kingdom was now his and his alone. The balding blacksmith's son finally let a smile crack his visage and smoked his new red conclave. My fellow countrymen, party members, comrades. So, but we could do this one, but we're going to probably go with automation is the future. Um, eventually, but I want to see where we get that extra research slot first. Yeah, it's over here, so we're going to go with what? Um, Subtitle some other companies, perhaps. So the private sector, definitely not. Well, let's, let's get one of these going. Uh, research speed. Uh, research camps wouldn't be bad. Construction technology. We don't need that now. Examine what wear competing. Well, while wet wares and the new technology in the block, employed previously by the Germans and their Panzer Hounds, recent innovations in this particular area has intrigued many members of the government and the scientific community. Seems almost straight out of the Frankenstein novel, but researchers have been able to extract and maintain a human brain out of his body for some time. While still in its infancy, wetware promises amazing potential for future generations of automatons and body modifications. Is this right here? Wait, this too? Nice. Let's at the very least, try to destroy this division. Nice. Components, research, um, how does this so much strengthen organization? Is my question. Attack, launch, components. Oh, increase the failure chance by 35%. We'll win the, we will win the peacetime over at wars. Oh, that's interesting. Interesting. I like that actually quite a bit. Oh, come on. Oh, we failed. God dang it. This is my first time doing this too, so I mean, I'm not going to blame myself too much. Just enough. To the grab. Panzer hounds sound like fun. Keep him in place. So, where do you think you're going? I'm trying to make an illegal move right here.
first man in the orbit. Well, after thousands of years of development and evolution, the man has entered orbit and returned. We accomplished what was previously thought impossible and broken a major barrier to scientific development. With this, we prove not just potential of human habitation and orbit, but also scientific supremacy of our nation. The stars will not wait for us. Oh, we got really close to that. Incredible. Incredible. And so that's small companies. We're working entirely in the public sector with the EIEC is in the right path that we're going to get the best return on our investments. We need to look at investing in smaller research companies such as Imperial and Business Machines. These companies need our investments. With the encouragement, we can finally have a pro prove a useful ally independent of the EIEC's influence. Supplies really bad through here? Yeah, we need this. That too. Cut this division off as well. And we are there. Yes, we are. It's very good. Better to launch. Oh, god dang it. Are you kidding me? Well, then whatever. We both launched them, but I need more research points. I'm not sure this is really worth doing it. We'll do it anyways, because we can. Research points from here on out. It's kind of tedious to do this all the time again and again and again and again and again. But oh well. There you go, nice. Um, there's a cutoff down here, which is not good. I might be able to do something down here, though. Popping pills, fine with us. Recognize, um, uh, armored cars. We really don't need to do any of that, really. Still a lot of time. Trains, maybe? Or should we go more naval stuff, maybe? There you go. Sounds like a smart investment. And we're there. Water tablets, nice. Naval, naval, naval. There you go. Oh. Good. Research speed. We can do both of these. Um, factory repair speed. What is this one? As automation becomes more and more than the norm, innovation turns into the oil, which we increase our gears. Public education needs to be geared to this new reality. As children, you need to expect a labor market where only the smartest are needed. You can't expect to grow up and become a hard worker anymore, Timmy. Instead, crack open a book and learn about the canine nervous system. Beautiful. Still had time. Okay. Weapons of mass destruction? Sure, why not? Let's be pierced already. Oh man. We just have so many planes. There's nothing we can really do about it.
So we should be getting guns. We need more rations are fine now. So we get some millies, which is good. Good. Alright, so what do we got here? Components. Research dome. So this one has increases failure chance by 5%. This is 25. Additional 15. Each month upon successful launch. Alright, we'll do that one then. It's not bad. Come on. Oh, I thought they were both going to leave. Yeah, Hunger's gonna definitely lose this one. We tried, man. We tried hard. Good. Components. Finest of minds. Find them. As the economy shifts away from hard labor, demands for brains increases. No, not for wetware, but for research and innovation. Britain has the heart of the civilization. With a perfect position of both foster domestic talents and attract foreign intellectuals, with a perfect combination of education and wealth and opportunity. Though, through easing immigration for university educated folk into Britain while funding public, public universities domestically, Britain can start power on the engine of a paradigm shifting for the next decade to come. Oh, see, this is exactly what we wanted here. Let's check on this side. But then again, they're going to link up right there, so it's not going to be good for us. Probably. See, now you got encircled yourselves. Look what you did. Cylinder's not bad. Subs are pretty decent too. Oh, don't tell me they cut off our rails. This plot's pretty bad. They really might need to retreat a little bit. Oh, they cut this off because they took that up there. Oh, shnikes. Well, looks like we're going back up to Hungary. Get out. And artillery wise, armor. It's looking all okay. That sucks. That really sucks. Oh, come on. Get her to launch. We got more components, though. That's pretty nice. Nice. Industry, 36. A lot of time that's right. Oh, come on. We got a circle here. Bruh. Hopefully, we just lose the war fast. It is a grab and it should be fine. Like I said, we tried. Failed measurement conversion. Oh, yeah, there's that one. Uh, 
and this one. The ones that have been created through automation are far too valuable to discourage. Automats have improved our efficiency, our standards of living, and our nation as a whole. We're going to fix it on the issue of employment and throw away a unique position in the global economy for a few worth workless miners. So. Someone says, does socialism in this model mean decolonization or just a more friendly empire? It's a good question. A very good question, actually. Um, but, you know, automation is future. Yeah. That's a tough war to fight. Balkan Anton fails. So I'm missing some automats. Industry. How are we making. Oh. More arms. Definitely. I love arms. They are arms. Um, synthetic fuel might actually be decent. Maybe start making some as well. So we're still making some infantry. Some industry stuff. Launch. Yes, please. Components. Nice. 35, even more naval stuff. Need to get 200 here. Uh, actually, use kind of suck. What's this? Low party unity. Well, that's not good. Hey, we got a successful launch at least. Oh, the workers' union does not support us. We need part of unity. Even though I do want to do this one too, but... So we need support from the workers' union's moderates. Give us from the National People Party do not support us anyway, so... As well as the Hague Tories. Moderately reformist, only tensions are 20%. Matters of the state. Oh, all oh, the you can have some of that. Industrialists. They are neutral. Successful launch is good. EIEC supports our decision. The EIEC has sent us a letter. Short letter, of course. Stating their support for their decision. To boot their boss order the expansion of British factory complexes and order to encourage us to maintain this path. Well, one might consider this to be extremely corrupt, the argument could be made that we're simply cooperating with our economic partners. They said greeting some palm greasing some palms was a bad thing. Nice. And, you know, we could force the mines open, or we could probably just introduce filler jobs. Well, the wonders of automation brought us great pleasure. We shouldn't forget the cleansing miracle of a good, honest job for a man. Robots, at the end of the day, can't fill that hole, so... With government support, jobs are created to keep the population busy and sustain the current free market economy for the extended future. Some of board has been skeptical about the idea, jokingly inquiring about jobs like street inspectors and bird lawyers, but we know that these jobs are needed for a good moral fiber. Exactly. I'm doing it anyways. How much support equipment do we have? We have none, okay. We need more. Subs are good, electronics are fine. 1936, we can grab this one. Because things should start really be heating up here. Build and 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 build. build, build, build. Steal research points from the enemy by infiltrating the orbital infrastructure. Wow. Kill vehicle.
We're gonna see what that's like. Try it once, why not? After this one, domestic automation, humans need not apply, well, contracts for concessions. It's clear that the automation brought a golden age to the British economy more ways than one, however. It's also clear that it cost us dearly as traditional systems are broken down under the weight of the cheap robotics. While well, can't keep progress at bay, we should control the flow of this change through our contracts with the EIEC. If we demand certain concessions, such as limited innovation and mandatory human participation rates during the development, we may be damaged the effects of industrial automation. So post-scarcity ideal. Well, we're going to go with this one. A future in techno-socialism. The ideas of socialism also don't stop. Ah. Merely improving the living standards of our people, but also providing the workers with the tools to improve the conditions. The future of the British work will be the one that provides for the people to develop in the nation for the betterment of the working class. That weekly stability is going to be extremely good. Well, we lose 10% consumer goods, but weekly manpower goes up by 5,000, which is insane, and 20% more research speed? Oh my lord. Um. Oh, you go to fully modernized military. Good, 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 good. Yeah. Very nice. Artillery's looking decent too. Sub holes, and eh, I'd rather do 937 sub holes. But what happened in 36, everybody? Let's see. Still doing plane stuff now. Actually, when do we do, when do we get the next planes? 37 is a year from now, so. I want to wait if we can one more year potentially. Ledger wise, so missing motorized. There we go. Nice. So they support us now. Rashidi's victorious. That's good for them. Um, we should be okay here. So 20%. Matters of the state, nothing there. Intelligence interceptor, huh? Hybrid fuel, maybe? Oh, we can't do this one. Oh, darn it. Well, Turing and the Mechanical Turk. The prospect of a mechanical mine isn't the newest concept, but Alan Turk, or Turk, Turing and Edison Electric seems to be in the best position to make that concept a reality. With the right funding and direction, we believe that Turing's project could pave the way for constructed intelligence. Turing himself has jokingly nicknamed the project the Mechanical Turk. Out of the old Mechanical Turk chess playing robot, although of course the robot will presumably be legitimate. Assess Edison automations, or automatons. Edison Electric has already begun the development of early model automatons. It would be useful for us to purchase several other prototypes to examine their engineering and get a better idea of the inner workings. Absolutely. I do that too because it's great anyways. Low party unity still. Well, okay. Guess we'll decrease unity then. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh my goodness. Use a little more rubber, we need cast, we need a lot of things. Razor made would be fun to make, but I don't have enough army XP. So now. Semi-modernized military. Still trying to modernize it, huh? We have a month left of it. It's not terrible. But it's not great. Daily gain 6.3,000. Current consumption is 9,000, which is a quite a bit. Hmm. Well, you'll know, have a launch soon. And the Turing Thinker, a project. Still research points. Allows us to conduct orbital bombardment on enemy, massively reducing the repair and construction time for. Oh, that's interesting. Advanced engine. Yeah. 
fuel. Yeah. Another patronage of the EIEC, we've established a hub, uh, project hub in London to assess a group of computing, computing scientists. Headed by Alan Turner, the project's primary aim is the creation of constructed intelligence that could help the government and military make decisions. Nicknamed the Mechanical Turk, after the fake chess player of a computer of the 1700s, the project's ambitions are extremely high. Experiments in constructed intelligence have yielded limited results in the past, stemming primarily from the inability to make things thinking machines that could produce results not only programmed. Turing's project, however, aims to combine the burgeoning field of wetware computing with advanced machinery to produce an intelligent thinking device. Wetware is a very new field, pioneered over the last few years by growing animal neural tissue for processing. We eagerly wait for support. Nice. So how do we get to involved with more complex? Oh. Resolving the African issue. The British African Authority is in West Africa's a complete state of turmoil, forged by a multitude of original British colonies com combining with the uh, gaining of the French and Italian colonies during the Great War nearly two decades ago. The colonies are simply overstretched. Now it's time for local British colonial and military authorities, alongside delegations from London and local uh, natives and settled communities, to come together to accomplish to resolve the mess known as the British African Authority. Germany asked to purchase Ashanti. The United Kingdom of Germany, <clears throat> and their infinite wisdom, um, have come forward towards us with an offer of purchasing a crown colony Ashanti. Here's the Germans' attempt to strengthen their colonial position in West Africa. I want to connect the colonies. We're having a very high sum of money for, to purchase out the colony and assure us that it's not a move to weaken British uh, global power. The government is conflicted by this proposal. For some, it is inconceivable that even an inch of the empire should be given up, while other parties consider the offer to be quite attractive, especially looking at the current economic situation. Still, the small colony might have the economy and the people of the British rule, but are we not the empire in which the sun ever sets? Ah, uh, we're good. And that does make sense for them to do that. Can argue with that. Those types of results. <sighs> no, but we understand. Sub sell or privateering training. Oh, we don't really need that one either. At least for now. 5% 15. Hybrid fuels. Very nice. Awesome. Here, you know, go and do that one, anyways. Very good. I'm okay with that then. We burn through all that really quickly. Nice. So low unity though. Automation crisis is still not good. But we'll do this one next anyways because we can. Establish workplace uh, assignment ministry. With unemployed people piling out of the streets of the Great Britain, the government is enforced to take drastic measures and help these people get out of the streets and into new comfortable workshops. A special ministry separate from the Ministry of Economics and Trade has been established by Parliament with the goal of reducing unemployment percentage through aiming or sending the unemployed with temporary paid jobs like cleaning the streets and ticket inspectors. For as long as the Brit is unemployed, his social benefits are relying on him following the instructions of the WAM. It's not bad help build stuff, but uh, we'll get to that one next after we do this one. Hey, you can actually make more divisions. Look at that. Nice. You know, I really, really like to pump up some more inner warp airframes like that. Quadrupods definitely. You gotta go there though. Definitely more, 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 more. Because the army's fine. It's not great, but it's fine. Let's go from the wigs. Moderates. we we'll do that one. That helps out. But I want to get more civvies too, because civvies are still very good to have. Infantry is decent, it's not great. Hey, economic health improves even more. Nice. What are we at for economic health? Policies, independent press, economic policies, 14 hour workday. Huh. Fully westernized, fully modernized. With limited poverty, it's very nice. We only going to get one today. Three hundred research points. My God. Additional research points. Do boost encryption significantly increasing intelligence gathering ability for a short period of time. Well, for a short period of time. 
but it's not good enough. What do we need? Heavyweight Teleforce Engines. Tele heavyweight Teleforce Engines, huh? Where is that? Buzzards. Rotary Engine Blades. I'm not sure where that is. Uh, we're all good here. <clears throat> status of the status status of the African Authority. Status following the conclusion of the Great War, the British African Authority was intended to be a provisional state. <clears throat> The match fairs of the colonies being acquired. The long term was meant to be dissolved into a series of smaller, more manageable administrations. In reality, Britain's operations across Africa began to suffer mission creep as a lot of Gulf dissolution gave way to attempting to maintain the peace among the desperate colonies. With the potential outbreak of war in Europe on the horizon again, we've been forced to push on forward on the dissolution plan. The authorities become unwieldy and, more importantly, increasingly expensive. In the coming months, our officials have announced plans bringing in the representatives of both the British, Italian, and French administrations, along with the representatives from pro British native officials. It's going to work then. Now, which one do we want here? Subdivide small company? No. Women's filler job department. Weekly manpower. Wow. Bread and circuses program. It's not bad. That's pretty good. A new life awaits you in the colonies. I like them too, but we'll probably go with this one. Now, the shifting of our economy towards the service economy. Debate has been sparked again about the role women play in this large machine. The arguments are of hard labor and. Oh, look at that. Long hours once worked wonders to conceive, convince the public. Those jobs have recently become filled with automatic instead of human laborers. The service economy is, compared to the previous economic system, far more tender and elegant, allowing suffragettes to argue that the government should invoke or involve more women in the economy. Thus, a department of women fellow jobs has been given form. Atomic research would be good to do. Though. Nuclear bombs, nuclear bombs. So, at this point, I might we might just stop doing all this altogether, because we have a lot of research points. So... Try to meet with more union members too. Normalized, eh? Good. This should be normalized. Good. So, that one, and then we'll probably end with what? Oh, we could probably do that one maybe eventually, of course, all the following, but no, we can't do that one. Dang it. Uh, can't do that one either, because we did that one too. <clears throat> Imperial Telescreen Company versus Corporate Telescreen Grants. What we're probably going to do is establish Imperial Telescreen Company. The telescreen is new and marvelous technology employed and inspired through the minds of children, men, women, men, children, men, and women alike. However, the ability to project imagery to any particular telescreen device is a technology with serious military and security potential, turning into a serious threat in the wrong hands. Allowing the private sector to run wild with this wonder will cost our technological edge of our adversaries. First and last, the national the telescreen industry under the ITC umbrella. Pretty, pretty good for us, so. If you enjoyed the video, though, leave a like, subscribe if you're new, check out my Discord link in the description below, and I'll see you tomorrow. We'll see what else we can do with uh, Imperial Britain. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.